Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I really wanted to talk about versatility and how you can truly maximize those core items that you have in your wardrobe. I talk a lot about double duty or even triple duty, whatever that means, and I thought it would be really useful if I shared how to put that into practice. So there's two items that I'm going to style up multiple ways and I'm going to give you some tips and styling tools that you can use along the way so you can do the same thing with your own wardrobe. But I wanted to sort of mention that there are two different ways that an item can be really versatile and uh, can be something that you are able to reach for and wear a lot. The first is that it can be worn across multiple occasions. So you can wear it for work, you can wear it on the weekend, maybe to the grocery store, out for drinks with your friends, to the beach, on holiday, the list goes on. The other way is that it is versatile in the sense that it is seasonless or it can be worn multiple seasons throughout the year. The ultimate balance is something that actually crosses both of those two categories. Those are very rare, but when you find something that you can really maximize year round and for so many occasions, it is really something you want to hang on to in your wardrobe. I personally find that texture, silhouette and accessories can be really key in terms of transforming the way an item looks. So I've got two pieces that I really want to share in this video and if you enjoy this maybe I can do more in this series. So I want to start with a pair of tailored trousers and I did a reel on IG recently where I shared three different ways that I was wearing these trousers and to me I think that there are just so many options because they really are versatile depending on the other elements of your outfit. So I have three pairs that I'm going to share with you um, and I'm going to style up just these ones here from H&M but I just wanted to show you through a few different price points and again I do want to just um, hit home the fact that you do not have to go out and spend thousands of dollars on a investment piece in order to look stylish or to look fabulous or to feel amazing in what you're wearing. You can actually get some really good staples on the high street. It's all about knowing what to look for. Classic cuts, really good tailoring and also just check the seams. Make sure that it is actually well made and I do tend to find that natural fibers are usually best. So we've got H&M at the low end of the spectrum. Uniqlo is another place that I really like to go to for workwear basics, but just essentials in general. I think that they do those very sort of simple silhouettes very well. And then at the kind of, I would say, slightly more expensive end of this spectrum that I'm sharing is our kit. Uh, I really like this sort of Scandinavian take on tailoring, which is a little bit more relaxed. Um, the pair that I'm showing is a really beautiful black trouser, which I think is very nice for dressing up or dressing down. Okay, so I want to start with the very first outfit which is for me what I would wear in a casual working environment. Now a lot of you might know that my last job was working as a publicist at Discovery and this is definitely the kind of outfit that I would wear there. I really like cotton poplin as a fabric. I think that it is very fresh and it is sharp and it can really elevate your outfit and uh, look smart and it's definitely a fabric I associate with the office. The top that I chose to pair with the trousers for this outfit is from Tibby and for me this is where I've really injected some personality and some playfulness. So I do have that structure and uh, that smartness from the fabric being a cotton poplin but then it feels elevated, it doesn't feel super basic and it has this little peplum hem which creates a really nice and interesting shape. On my feet I decided to wear a pair of just ballet pumps, something that has a slightly pointed toe. These ones are squared off at the very toe but I think that they look a lot smarter than a rounded ballet flat wood and they have a little low block heel so I find those little details really great for when I'm working in more of a casual office environment setting. I did also want to share a different iteration on the same look which is again another cotton poplin top but this would be an option if you wanted a top that had a little bit of shape but it's maybe not quite so extreme and it does sort of give you the same look but you should be able to see that there is an actual difference in the overall feel of the outfit. So this one is from Everlane and uh, it's just got a very basic shape through the body but then it has these slightly bell lantern sleeves and then at the back it does have this really lovely cutout detail which I do think in an office setting this does work because you're not you're not um, showing too much of your back it's the upper back portion your bra strap is concealed um, and 
to look at it everywhere else it is quite modest um, and I would just wear that with the same ballet flat. My second outfit is going to be my date night outfit or going for drinks with the girls after work. So for that I would pair my tailored trousers with a slinky silk camisole. Silk is another one of those fabrics that I find feels really elevated and it feels a lot, it feels luxurious but it also feels a bit fancy and especially when it comes in this sort of wash silk texture and um, this is a wash silk crepe de chine and it's double lined. Um, this has really thin straps so again it feels a little bit more refined, a little bit more elegant than something that was say a little bit thicker. Uh, on the shoulder and I have tucked that in so that you kind of get this really nice uh, silhouette and you have this cinched in detail at the waist which you could belt if you wanted to. On my feet I am just wearing a little strappy sandal something that is almost barely there a minimal style sandal but again I've gone for a kitten heel. For me practicality is also important when it comes to my outfits and heels are a way to really make things feel a bit more dressed up. Then if it was cold, I would just throw a simple black blazer over my shoulders, something that is a little bit more boxy or a bit more roomy in terms of the silhouette as opposed to something that is really fitted. Because when I'm going out for dinner, um, I, I don't want to feel like I'm going to the office. So I prefer those slightly looser silhouettes because to me they feel a bit more relaxed uh, and they still have that tailored feel. Okay, the third outfit with the tailored trousers, I wanted to share with you sort of a weekend brunch outfit. Something I would wear if I was going out with my husband and our son and we're just getting something in our local community, but I wanted to look nice and put together at the same time. And this is sort of my go-to outfit combination. So first things first, I've gone for a really nice chunky knit sweater. This is a cotton knit sweater from MLM label. I really love the fact that it has these lantern sleeves because this is another way that you can add a bit of shape and just interest your outfit by having those scrunched up sleeves which you should be able to see in the cutaways. Uh, this has a really nice boxy fit to it so I have just worn it slightly tucked in at the front. I've done a French tuck. You could also wear something like this loose if you wanted to have a little bit more of a casual feel to your outfit um, and that really is just the magic of how just something as simple as tucking in a knit or not tucking it can really transform your outfit. Again, you could also wear a belt with this if you wanted to and that would really create some nice definition at the waist. On my feet, I went for a smart pump. So I have a lot of shoes like this that are really nice and comfortable but feel smart uh, and they can dress up an outfit but then they can also dress it down depending on what it is that I'm reaching for and wearing. These are from Vanelli and they're in a charcoal wool so they have a really nice texture to them and they have a suede toe cap uh, which I think just adds a little bit of visual interest. Having that black bit at the toe which is an almond shape I think just is elongating as well and I wanted a shoe that slightly matched the trousers so that I had this clean line uh, on my lower half. Obviously it's probably going to be cold if it is winter so I've just gone for a really big oversized boyfriend coat. Something like this again uh, if I want it to be relaxed I'm going to go with oversized. I think that that is just a really simple way to inject ease into your outfit because it is easy, it is relaxed, it doesn't feel buttoned up or tight. I think that's probably part of the reason why I'm so drawn to these silhouettes right now. Uh, this is a boyfriend style so it does give you a lot more room through the body. Uh, really good for tucking big chunky knits underneath. My fourth and final outfit with the tailored trousers is sort of my more formal or professional office environment look. So I have paired the H&M pants back to a silk blouse. This one is sleeveless which is appropriate in Sydney professional working environments but might not be where you live so maybe you would go for a silk t-shirt that would also be fine. Um, I really wanted to in this outfit just do something that was a bit different with color so I've gone with this lighter gray tank. I, I did mention this earlier but I find that silk is one of those more elevated basics. It feels refined, it does actually feel a lot more dressed up and that's why I think it works really well for the office especially if you have more of a formal uh, setting. So I have worn that tucked in and then over my shoulders I'm wearing a navy blazer. Now this particular one is actually more of a looser fit so maybe depending on where I work I would want to go for something that was a bit more close cut to the body 
and I will share that in a later outfit. Um, but I like the color of this one here, and again, I'm just pulling from my own wardrobe. Um, this one, you can actually button to the side, so you can cinch in your waist, which creates shape, and again, I think that is another way that you can really smarten up your look. Of course, we have the simple black pointed toe pump. I think that in a formal work environment, this is really a must have in your wardrobe. You can get any kind of heel height. See the ones that I've got here have sort of more of a kitten heel, which is very manageable for someone like me. Um, I'm not really into those 10 centimeter heel heights. I find them very challenging to walk in these days and I really don't see the need. I particularly like this pair because they have this squared off detail across the vamp, which is very interesting. It does sit a little bit lower down the foot uh, and it feels very modern. And it's sort of, again, a way that I've injected a little bit of personality into my outfit. But you can kind of see with those mix of textures and also silhouettes, how I am really able to transform a pair of trousers and make them work for various different occasions. I could also wear those trousers back with a simple cotton tank and maybe a slip on slide and then that would see me for the summer. I can wear that to the beach, maybe if I had some leather flip flops on or something like that that would be a really easy beach outfit. So I think that kind of really shows you the power of clothing and accessories. So the second item that I decided to style up for this video is a slip skirt. And I wanted to share this one because I think slip skirts in general, especially when they are in a color like this, which is a very pretty kind of oyster shade and it has shine to it, it feels like it is more of an elegant piece, a more of a dressed up piece, something that you might not wear in a casual way. And I really wanted to hit home that you can wear these more dressed up fabrics in a casual way. And I'll show you that with my first outfit, which is something that I wore recently to an event. Uh, so I've paired this slip skirt with a really oversized knit sweater. The one that I wore here is this one from Marl. Uh, it is this really lovely fawn color and it has some nice textural sort of a visual element to it because of the mild fabric. It has a really high neck. So whenever I'm wearing something that is slightly higher on the neck, I actually find I like to either pull my hair back into a low bun or tuck it into the net. Uh, just because I feel as though there's a little bit too much going on around the neckline. And I should have said this earlier, but hair is another way. Hair, beauty, accessories, I uh, like earrings. Those are another way that you can really change up your outfit. And I find for me, when I pull my hair back, especially if I'm wearing really dainty earring, like what I've got on right now, it does pull a little bit more dressed up. So I've worn that loose rather than tucked in because I really wanted to inject that ease into my outfit. On my feet, I've gone for my, my two-tone pump. So. It was an event where I did want to feel a little bit smart at the same time while still feeling quite relaxed and easy and effortless in what I was wearing. So I went for these ones because they do have that two-tone element uh, and I found a really nice neutral to pair back to the skirt. It was a pretty mild winter day when I was wearing this outfit, so indoors the knit and the skirt was all I needed, but outside I definitely needed to wear a piece of outerwear. So I paired it with a trench coat, which I think is a real classic piece in so many people's wardrobes, but this this one to me is really interesting in the fact that it is super oversized. It isn't that typical sort of um, biscuity color that you might often find a trench in. It has this really, has a much deeper coffee khaki color to it, which I really like. And this one again is really oversized, so it injects that ease into the outfit. It feels really nice and relaxed uh, and really effortless. And again, one that also looks really nice worn. Uh, belted at the waist. Next outfit, let's do my kind of staying at home on the weekend, running down to the grocery shops to pick up some necessities for the household. So I have paired that slip skirt back with a, so this is a, a really nice sort of linen cotton t-shirt. So it has a bit of sheerness to it. It's really, really oversized, but it has that nice uh, high neckline. Um, so I have worn that knotted at the waist because I think that that's a really different way to wear your tees. You don't just have to wear them loose or tucked in. You can do loads of different things with them and you can even use sort of hair ties to secure those knots and even tuck them under to create a bit of a ruching sort of effect. So I've worn that t-shirt and then over the top, I've worn a really, really big, chunky knit cardigan. The one I've got here is from Free People, and oh my gosh, if I can even find the top, it is huge. This is actually really, I would call this a coat again. It 
just it has so much weight to it it is incredibly cozy has these really nice big patch pockets on it and I find that these knit coatigans they scream comfort they feel relaxed they these are something that I, I always feel whenever I add it onto my outfit I look very casual I look dressed down and it's something that instantly makes my outfit feel a lot more suitable for just going to the grocery store or lounging around at home because I do have this very kind of comfy cozy piece that is I would say sort of the central focal piece of my outfit because it is so big and bulky and chunky then to further hit home that kind of casual vibe of the outfit I decided to wear a pair of sneakers and these ones here are from Golden Goose there are so many different options I just like these ones because they do have that little lizard element and they are so comfortable that you can definitely get a more affordable pair so again they really do help to inject that casual vibe into my outfit I mean you can really imagine if I was to wear this outfit with this pointed toe pump instead of the sneakers it would be a very different feel it actually would feel slightly more dressed up it wouldn't feel anywhere near as casual as it does so shoes they make a huge difference next let's talk about our office look so again talking about fabrics I've gone back to cotton poplin for my shirt and the one that I'm wearing here is very very oversized there are, this is probably much more oversized than I would wear in a formal work environment I would go for something that was a little bit more tailored uh, than this maybe I've got one from Everlane which would be a really good option actually so I have worn that tucked in um, and this shirt in particular oh, I did just want to mention I love because it has this little button detail so you can wear it crossed over the body which is a really fun way to play with your clothing and create a different shape have a little bit of a v-neck shape there now the blazer that I've worn uh, I'm not 100% that it works with the color palette so I'm going to show you a second option which I think the color works better but the fit of this is very smart it's very sharp and very defined it's cut close to the body um, so you can sort of see it nips in at the waist and it really kind of hugs your curves in all the right places this is made from a really beautiful eco wool so um, it has this really uh, interesting sort of a technical texture to it where it does feel very sort of dressed up it feels very elevated and you can see it actually does have quite a bit of structure to it while still having a little bit of um, ease through the arms so that is the blazer and uh, you can really tell that it feels quite buttoned up it feels very much very smart um, on my feet I've just gone for a pointed toe pump because again I think that that is just a necessity in the workplace uh, especially if you work somewhere that is more corporate these ones are a dorsey pump I would probably wear something that had a bit more coverage across the foot uh, I think that's just a little bit more appropriate but really beautiful shoe actually if you can get your hands on these these are fab and they're so comfortable to walk in <laughs> but a nude shoe really elongating through the leg and uh, I think that especially when you're wearing all of those kind of neutral tone colors it can create a really nice seamless look the other blazer option that I did share is this one here which is a little bit more relaxed so this is maybe something I would wear closer to casual Friday uh, but it does I think the color scheme works a little bit better but I thought I would show you the difference in just how the fit of a blazer can change up your outfit entirely I did also do a second iteration just to kind of hit home the fact that you don't have to wear all neutrals um, you probably know that I love a tonal look and so it's something that I lean into heavily in my styling but you definitely don't have to do that yourself you could also do an all black look so I've gone with a silky blouse because silk is another one of those fabrics that does tend to pull a little bit more formal and a bit more dressed up and then again another tailored blazer this one doesn't quite have that same tailored sucked in feel as the gray blazer but you get the same effect and then the final outfit that I wanted to talk about is sort of my like I'm on holiday and I'm going down to the beach cabana for a drink outfit I wish but you know <laughs> girl can dream so I've gone for this really lovely crochet knitted top and I have worn this lightly tucked in and I really like this one because it is a halter style which to me I really love for holiday and then it has this cross back detail this is a really good top actually for wearing back with denim and other little summer essentials you can kind of see that it is semi sheer as well so something I would probably wear a black bra with because of the dark color um, so that's the top and I really like the fabric of it because it just is 
you know, it's really um, interesting and I think uh, the shape of it is really nice too, very pretty. And then on my feet, I've gone with a nude strappy sandal, something with a low block heel. I mean, if I am out on a deck and I'm on holiday somewhere and I'm just having a few cocktails, I really don't want anything that is too high. I wanna be really practical about it. And this one here, the heel is Gosh, what is that? A couple of centimeters. So very, very walkable. And I like the fact that this has a strappy detail around the ankle. I think it is really pretty and really dainty. And it works really nicely with that crochet knit top. And the colors you can see work really, really well too because they are part of that same kind of, um, they are on the same spectrum of the color wheel. So that is sort of what would be my going out outfit. Um, but there's also, you know, there's a little bit of modernity, but there's playful elements in the outfit too. Uh, and it's a really nice way that I can inject a little bit of myself into what I am wearing. So that's a little bit of a guide around my thought process when I'm putting together outfits and really trying to maximize the things that I have in my closet. I hope that you found this useful and got a little bit of outfit inspiration at the same time. And as I said at the start of the video, I would love to know if you want to see more like this, if you want me to talk through outfits and maybe I can do just one singular item in future videos so that I can make them a little bit shorter. But yeah, if you do love this, please let me know. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new here and you want to see more like this from me. And yeah, thank you so much for spending some of your day with me. I'll see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.